Confirming the nomination of NASA's next administrator, an update on a commercial crew mission, and remembering a spaceflight pioneer. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. Former Senator Bill Nelson has been confirmed by the U.S. Senate to be the 14th administrator of NASA. President Biden nominated Nelson for the administrator's post on April 19th. In 1986, while serving as the chair of the House Space Subcommittee, Nelson flew aboard the Space Shuttle Columbia on the STS-61C mission. As of Friday, April 30th, mission managers for NASA's SpaceX Crew-1 mission to the International Space Station were watching the weather forecast and targeting an early Sunday morning splashdown off the coast of Florida. Crew-1 is the first of six crewed missions NASA and SpaceX will fly as part of our commercial crew program, which has worked with the U.S. aerospace industry to return launches of astronauts on American rockets and spacecraft from American soil. NASA is remembering former astronaut Michael Collins, who passed away April 28th. He served as the command module pilot on Apollo 11, remaining in orbit while crewmates Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin took the first human steps on the lunar surface. Before that, he flew aboard Gemini 10, the eighth mission in a series of space flights between the Mercury and Apollo programs that helped pave the way for the moon landings. In the years following his space flights, Collins often spoke about the profound impact seeing Earth from space had on him. Well, I think the main thing about flying in space and then looking back and seeing uh, a tiny little fragile blue and white globe and, uh, and it makes you think about our earthly problems with a slightly different perspective. Uh, we have to do a better job of taking care of what we have. We have to do a better job of uh, getting along with each other. We have to do a better job of protecting, nurturing this tiny little fragile planet. In a statement on the passing of Collins, acting NASA Administrator Steve Jerzyk said, his legacy will always be as one of the leaders who took America's first steps into the cosmos, and his spirit will go with us as we venture toward farther horizons. Michael Collins was 90 years old. Our Ingenuity helicopter met all of its mission objectives with its third flight on Mars. During a virtual briefing on April 30th, the Ingenuity team discussed plans to push the limits of the rotorcraft for the remainder of its flight campaign. With this new phase, uh, we will now uh, concentrate on utility of an aerial platform and work on uh, operational products uh, such as uh, aerial observation of specific science targets or looking at uh, context features uh, from you know, places that are not accessible by rovers. Ingenuity is a technology demonstration that landed on Mars February 18th with our Perseverance rover to perform a series of test flights over a 30 Martian day experimental window. The rotorcraft became the first aircraft to successfully complete powered controlled flight on another world on April 19th. On April 27th, the core stage for the Space Launch System or SLS rocket that will send our uncrewed Artemis 1 mission to the moon arrived at our Kennedy Space Center in Florida aboard the agency's Pegasus barge. The core stage is the final piece of Artemis hardware to arrive at the spaceport and will be integrated atop the mobile launcher with the completed stack of solid rocket boosters ahead of the Artemis 1 launch. Engineers at our Stennis Space Center conducted a long-duration RS-25 engine test on April 28th, continuing the latest seven-part test series to support development and production of the engines for use on future missions with our Space Launch System rocket, including missions that will land the first woman and person of color on the surface of the moon as part of our Artemis program. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov.